Hello, welcome to this video. I have a little bit of a delay here. I'm gonna let this catch up, if it will. Okay, I just did a video, um, and I keep getting all these references about truck, trucks and vessels and way stations, and so I'm gonna give a quick recap on that video as quick as I can, and then I'm just gonna go into a little flow. So thank you so much for tuning in and sharing this now moment with myself and with one another. If you haven't seen these videos before, welcome. Welcome back if you have. My intention is benevolence for all and the highest levels of love light. So I'm gonna go into a little flow, I think. Um, recap on the last two videos that I did. Um, I did a video, actually three videos. I did a video recently on how to tell if you're getting downloads and activations. And again, that was just from my perspective. There's so many. My perspective isn't the only perspective, but I did share that with you guys. So if you feel um, guided to check that out, you can go back and watch that video. I've been talking a lot about trucks and way stations. So in a nutshell, we are vessels. We are vessels and we are here on this journey on Earth. We can think of Earth, we have our roadmaps, but if we aren't checking in with ourselves, if we aren't checking in at our various way stations, so to speak, to see if we need uh, to let go of some things, to see if we need to drop some of the weight that we're carrying, perhaps it's the weight of the world. <laughs> um, if we are not reloading, refueling, putting water into our vessels. Um, my guides were just saying to use this as an analogy, as a teaching tool. And also to recognize sometimes when we get off course to sit down and kind of remap where we're at or figure out where we are. If we've taken a detour to help us to see why we've taken that detour, to not judge ourselves for maybe making a wrong turn. I say that as perceived wrong turn for being able to connect to these way stations on a regular basis to help keep us on track so that when we get into an upgrade, we get into an activation, we don't spin out of control because we haven't done the work prior to this, leading up to this, that would have assisted us in feeling more at peace, feeling more um, centered. So I guess the biggest message was just being centered. So when we allow ourselves to let go of what no longer serves us, to digest all of that, to then reload with the new information that's coming in so that we are able to carry that moving forward in a more harmonized, unified way. If we're carrying too much, we're not going to be able to necessarily see the road in front of us. If our truck isn't getting cleaned, we're not going to feel the way that we should in order to recognize, oh, I'm getting a download. Oh, that information was important for me to recognize right now because it's going to assist me in my journey ahead. Oh, this is showing up for me as a sign or a signal. Pay attention. Are we so uh, sucked into? And I've got to get there. I've got to get there. I don't have time for this. I can't see this. And what happens when that, it's like a snow flurry. If you can't see what's around you, you got to slow down and take the time to check in at that way station. And they were also showing me that it's important to utilize our soul family to do that. I know if I don't talk to certain friends of mine in a long time, I, I dream about them. Sometimes I dream about them and it feels like I did talk with them, so I don't always call them because I'm like, oh, we took care of that in dream time. But it, you cra I crave it because for me, I have a tendency to be more on that, I'm in a cave, I'm just going to get, I'm just going to be one with the crystals in the earth. And that isn't necessarily why, that isn't necessarily going to bring forward, not only for myself, all of the, I need that interaction. Because I thrive from that to a certain extent, as do, do I thrive from the um, being in the cave as well. So it's balance, harmony. 
my um, video is slow again. So that'll be interesting because I'm getting ready to do some light language, so we'll see what happens. So I invite you to close your eyes, take a nice deep breath in and a long exhale. And exhale too. Don't forget to breathe. So when I'm in these moments of silence, it's just a good time for you to breathe, check in with your vessel. Are you holding any tension anywhere on the body? When you breathe in, are you breathing that breath all the way into the body? Are you filling up your lungs, your chest, your belly? And as you exhale, just letting go in the shoulders, feeling the neck lengthen. The crown of the head lengthened towards source energy, sky, allowing your tailbone to lengthen towards the earth. This is meant to be felt, allowing yourself to feel all the energies that are being offered in this now moment from your higher guidance team. In the heart. So a lot of heart frequencies. I would move my chair back, but my dog is laying behind it. I want to interrupt him. Do I hear Stukukua or Hain, a kiki, stian, a kiestian, a kukua, and the et east, the stick east, the under a hakur? Ua wa he a kiki a na ai a ki e ste anda hak ua. I'm hearing a lot in English, but I'm just going to let the energies go through because I feel like the words might be a little distracting. So I'm just going to invite you to breathe and allow the frequencies to come in.
Kukuahe, de a at e ki and the hak oa. De a at e ki and the ha, eawa ha, eawa ha, in in a ya ya ha, in a na ya na ya. They are one
Wahea ki and the head it is the hour and the hair and the key in the yard. The hour I will go away and it is a hair. The hour Kuwa Bukuku boet is is the and the head et 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 ik yendra haste wa wa kiendra. Ki and the stick, he cuckoo no end the stick in the stair. The eye, Kiawa, honey, a co hen, the eat the heart of a stick Then the Kiawa Wawa hand the East Iki and the Hey Diki and the Eep Wawa Hawk or Hand the Kuande Diawa Hand the Kish Dead E. Do ambo kukue hi bu kuende sti sti kinda iak o do estu sti ama kua iene. So much is coming through. 
We offer light quotes. I'm seeing water, transcurrencies, many different waves of frequency. Touching the hearts of those that are connected in this alchemical way with this particular advancement system. The <laughs> Ndu kuku awa wa ku awa honda heshte kuku. Ndu tuku awa ku honda heshte kuku o ku ondo heshte. Dia ha o ku ndu e heshte a ondo a ku bu ku ene ya ha na e. So I'm seeing like we're communicating through plasma that's like water. I'm seeing octopus, octopi. I was seeing geometric shapes, lights, getting this visualization like the whales communicating. And these are how higher versions of ourself communicates, future versions of us, past versions of us beyond mm, perhaps earth frequencies yet communicating through the earth frequencies as a portal and imagine that water is a frequency carrier which it is but then also imagining that the air and the aether through the earth is also carrying this frequency so that is a new way of reckoning is what they're they're sharing a new way of recognizing how our counterparts are communicating with us and how and why it is so important to drown out all of the noise and go within because they are communicating through this particular type of technology that has been it's like a radio wave it's a signal that's finally reaching earth or another way of looking at it is it's a signal that's been reaching Earth, but we haven't been able to hear it because of all of the distractions. They're reminding us not to worry about why those distractions were created, for that has fallen to the wayside. And they're playing it in with my versions of the way station. So like that was a checkpoint. It's been checked. I'm seeing like, check it before you wreck it. <laughs> They're showing me that, yes, there were things that were done that have usurped this form of communication, that have covered it up. But if we can get past that, more importantly, if we can see through that, if we can steer through the wake, it's like a boat was in front of us throwing all this wake and we were like trying to get through it and then we learned how to surf it and now we're just like seeing past that much like Neo in the Matrix. Um, 
this transmission, for example, feeling into these frequencies reminds us, assists us in recognizing that this is a form of technology, not outside of us. It is, they're showing me graft into us. It is part of our makeup. And the more we stabilize our harmonics, and they're showing me why they've been telling me all about this trucking station and these way stations, how important it is. The more we can get into that space of uh, unified field, the more we pick up these um, codes, information, the more we pick up on what is being offered. And there's a lot of, um, like we can play with it. So it's showing uh, somebody picking up a, a guitar pick and picking the strings because they're hearing a tune and then they start singing this music that's in coherence with this higher version of themselves that is essentially anchoring into their vessel, which is what we're doing in this moment. Then this is what is meant by everything is within us. And as we sync up, as we allow ourselves to feel the love ignited from within these transmissions, we recognize those transmissions that are not love united. And we allow ourselves to allow them, we allow ourselves to feel that it is not resonant and we allow ourselves to disconnect from those strands, those strings, those, uh, they're showing me like um, implants, these uh, like a polypeptide or a polyp that was inserted is now being pulled out and we're now reconnecting with our true strands, our true uh, fibers and letting all of those incongruent fibers, misconstrued mechanisms to fall to the wayside and allow them to be absorbed into the nucleus. Uh, there's more, there's a plan words. But they're also showing me how a lot of plays about nuclear. I'll get to that in another video. Um, nuclear, nuclear ways. Recognizing about that, um, if you think of us being in coherence, it's like we're burning through all of that and utilizing it as fuel. Blowing through the constructs of time, time bomb. Time bomb. Um, and recognizing that our playing field just got a whole lot bigger. And we are love and light. We honor you. We are honored in. We are honed in to the red zone, honored. We light the way as you light the way. We are your counterparts. We are your co-pilots. It's a very beautiful feeling of love right now, so I'm just getting a little, they're just, it's such a beautiful, we're very loved. And when we allow ourselves to stay in coherence, we can feel that love emanating, not only from within us, but from the earth and from all of our guides that are perceived as outside of us. It's like they exist in us too. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. In love and light, guys. Namaste.